<clears throat> Zane, address it. <laughs> Want me to address you it? Address Should I address it? Well, yeah, I'll address like, the situation. Oh, yeah. I'll address it. I'll address it. Guys, guys, calm down. Um, I I missed the last episode. I actually was in the room for the first five, ten minutes of filming. <laughs> but, well, backstory. There's been a lot of like stress in my life for the past like two, three weeks, just like 20 different things. And when you like keep everything bottled in, you just kind of you just kind of explode. He and was that's, shaking the bottle and it finally popped. And that's what happened. I had my first panic attack, like full blown. Hey, welcome to the dark side, panic bud. Attack. <laughs> I did. You know when people go like, oh, I'm about, oh, you're about to give me a panic attack. You know, people like say shit like that all the time. But like, you're not really having panic attack. It's just, you know, whatever. Me on the Stas episode. <laughs> you're good. <laughs> <laughs> I was almost glad it happened. I was like, okay, he gets what I go through. You like, go, wait, you go through that? Every, what, every, like every episode you, that happens? No. Oh. I've never had a panic attack, but I get like, on like anxiety but i knew right I had away never had, had a panic, panic attack. attack oh you did yeah yeah i was worried that you were having a panic attack but like i didn't want to like tell you i think you're right. having it yeah because then, and I then would that would make you like panic more, more. panic yeah, more. yeah. yeah. so I, we were recording and we had uh, we had hunter march on here and of course like i like leading up to the episode i knew i was like having a like a rough day i was like oh my god we have the podcast tonight and we have a guest like this fucking blows like i don't i can't do it tonight i can't do it tonight but i didn't say anything and then we all sit in here and everyone just starts chatting it up and i'm sitting here and everybody's going back and forth, back and forth. We're recording and I'm sitting here and I'm like, oh my God, oh my, I can't do this right now. I can't, I'm looking at Devin, I'm looking at Mariah. I gave her like a little eye just to let her know like, yo, I'm about to, I'm about to blow. And <laughs> and I'm, I'm trying to avoid, I was going, I was going to sit here silent the whole entire episode. If you guys kept going and I didn't like run out of the room, you got, I, I would have been silent the whole time. And then Hunter March points at me. He goes, how do you feel about that? And I froze <laughs> and I ran out of the room. I was like, you guys are doing great. And I ran out of the room. It looked like I like was about to puke or yeah. about to like have a diarrhea attack or something. Yeah. Sorry. I put it on diarrhea. Yeah, that's fine. I, I didn't want to be like Zane had a panic attack and make it like a thing. I was just like, tell me. It's oh, oh, you guys knew what was going on. Oh, I thought you actually thought like I I had to like use irritable bowel syndrome. Uh, yeah, no, we something. So. Well, I, I I definitely knew it was like anxiety related, but you know sometimes anxiety can like go down to your intestines. It can mm -hmm. make your stomach just like flutter to the point where you do feel sick. So, yeah, like right. I knew I knew definitely the root of it like was your state of mind. Uh huh. But what was I think so it was also keeping him calm and keeping the guest calm. And we were yeah. just like, what do we do? Like if it was just the four of us, I feel like we'd be like, oh, another day. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. we had like two people to like make sure are okay yeah, and, we're just, right. and i've had like many meltdowns while recording especially in the beginning when we first started like the first like seven episodes i had like little meltdowns where we had to like take a pause or like start over but this one i that that was something i've never i like i ran outside and i completely just j just a fucking storm storm coming out i was just like fuck fuck like i felt like i was dying like i've never i've never felt anything like that in my life and it all came out and I was I was out in the back for like for like well, an hour. Well, we stopped and we were trying to look for you and we could not find you. Oh, I, I left went, my yeah, I left my I phone. went out because we looked at you know find my friends and you were still here. We looked in every room of the house. We even walked outside up to your car to look in it. And then I call your phone and Heath answers and I'm like and he left it in the podcast. Here, so I'm like, where is Zane? And he doesn't have his phone. Like oh, it didn't make sense. Yeah, no, I just I, I like went right to the back and I just had to be by myself for like a good hour to just really just think about everything and just to calm down. I just right. needed to like breathe and I needed like, n like, n like I didn't, I couldn't space. be, I just needed space. I didn't need it. Like I couldn't be around anybody. I just had to think about everything and let it all. I felt like my spirit kind of went into the sky and left <laughs> for like an hour. And then I was just like, Okay, but by the time it was like kind of, I was kind of like felt feeling better. You guys were, you guys <laughs> we're like, finishing, and that's it for Zane and Heath. That's all that. You come in. So what do we want to talk about today? I'm now. <laughs> yeah, no, I felt really bad, but like I heard like while I was out there, like, you know, and my world was ending. You guys, I heard you guys laughing in here, so I was just like, thank God that they're just like they're doing that episode yeah. right now. Like, and they're they're. It sounds like they're doing well. I was like, fuck, thank God, because I thought you guys were just not gonna do it <laughs> we're just with with hunter more just like taking the time out of his day to come here and fucking yeah i felt really bad but i'm good everything's fine i uh all right, baby yeah it's just sometimes you really it just it needs to escape your body and yeah. that's what happened we've had a rough three weeks man i mean yeah, it's, it's been, been a pretty lot brutal. it's been a lot but yeah you know but like that helped me like exp like that moment helped me like 
just feel disconnect, a lot disassociate, better. yeah, and breathe. Yeah, that's good. But now I'm breathing. I'm back, guys. Thanks for <laughs> to waiting. mental health. <laughs> to mental health. I'm still to alive, but I'm barely breathing. Does anyone else have mental illness? <laughs> you have mental illness. <laughs> Everybody put a lighter out. <laughs> you get a panic attack. You get a panic <laughs> attack. attack. Jesus. You guys all should have uh, lit a fucking <laughs> lighter for me for two seconds. <laughs> Moment of silence for Zane's uh, absence. Thank you. <laughs> let's run this intro, baby. Yeah, let's run yeah. the intro. I, want, I hope we don't have to like dance the next season. I I, I want something to play. Yeah, we're well, going to have to get a table so we just sit. We're we just running have no out room of to get dance up. moves. <laughs> I, <laughs> literally, I do the same thing every day. I know. All right, let's do this. All right. It's, it's Capital, baby. <laughs> Would you like to say the intro? You took the reins last episode in my yeah, absence. That was really brave of you. Thank you very much. Go ahead. Much. Uh, welcome back to Zane and Heath Unfiltered. I'm Heath. I'm Zane. I'm Matt. I'm Mariah. And welcome back to Zane and Heath Unfiltered. <laughs> we, have no, we have nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs> That's our thing. I'm what? wearing a turtleneck today. I threw out all my clothes uh, in the past couple of days. Oh, he really is just letting Start go fresh. of everything. Sometimes you have yeah. to. That Mary Start Kondo. Start over. I threw, I threw out like 90% of my fucking shit. It's the best. So that's why I'm wearing this turtleneck because this is the few that I have left. And I that, really was, need... that was one that you saved? Well, yeah, this was expensive. <laughs> I've worn it once. So I was like, well, I'm going to wear it again for the next episode because I haven't worn it yet. Okay. I only wore it once for a photo shoot and then it was sitting in my closet. I was gonna say, that was a Henry shoot, right? No, it was, was a, it was no, it was a normal shoe. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was a normal shoe. I don't know how I nice. feel about turtlenecks. I, they always come in handy when you need them. Yeah. There's always something where you need a turtle turtleneck. Yeah, like Todd, like I feel like I see Todd in a turtleneck a lot for really? some reason. Yeah, you don't see him in a turtleneck? I guess maybe if he does like a dress up, like yeah. shoot type thing, mm -hmm. but. but. Then I feel like the whole turtleneck with a blazer like trend is like now out. Yeah. Like yeah. It was it. like cool and like new and refreshing, and now it's yeah. just like. Yeah. Now, it's over. okay so i was looking at the comments uh like a couple podcasts ago and everybody keeps commenting saying why is everybody matching except for zane and in my head I'm, i was like oh i think they're playing this shit out without me i think they're in a group you think we have a side chat for, like as a joke i thought you guys had a separate group chat and you That's guys color funny. coordinate every episode no, just you to know, see you those didn't comments notice that like when matt would walk in i'm like are you kidding me where matt it's a whole thing where we accidentally i match. know but i thought i thought you guys were just doing that just to make me think that you guys weren't planning it out do you think we're what? having meetings like yeah. that <laughs> That's what, and that's why he's having panic attacks. Yeah. Because you need to see having that outfit. pushed him over the no, edge. No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't like mad about it. But I just like I thought it was really funny because it's every every podcast we post, it's all these comments. So in my head, it was like I'm sure, like I feel like that's something you would like see and then be like, Yo, guys, we should keep this going and keep wearing the same outfits uh, while Zayn. Really? We, we have a oh, separate. I would feel bad. We have a separate group chat. Yeah, <laughs> but now I know it's not happening because Heath is wearing a white shirt. Completely throws off. Well, when you guys colors. walked in, I was like, Oh, we're all kind of in pastels. We're not wearing the same color wearing pastels so i told heath i was like if you want to wear a pastel but he already, he already wore all his yellows yeah <laughs> oh yeah so oh, you, you do wear a lot of yellow i used to wear all the yellow but now you do yeah i like that i'm in like this like matte socks it's like a kind of mustard mustardy but not yellow mustard it's more of like a pollination yellow it's full yeah. what what are those colors Taxi like color. yeah what's that what's it like what's that color palette called like the yellow and the brown and like the i just think the, it was like 70s just like 70s 70s oh yeah, yeah. 70s kind yeah of you've been wearing a lot of that lately I you're bringing that it. you're bringing that shit back come on now bringing back the light blue jeans the Let's get it, baby. the dungarees the dungarees <laughs> it's funny because like when when they match I usually would just run into the bedroom real quick and throw something on them. Yeah, match. both of their closets are here. That's so, true. so it's, I get here like a little bit earlier, so... So it's you. You're running the show here when it comes to outfits. But you, He you just shows better, up on time. Yeah, you do have better <laughs> outfits than me, though. I'm always wearing like gym clothes and shit. So. You do have good outfits. I actually stole a shirt of yours this week. <gasps> you do it all the time. You broke his Christmas I village. usually let you know, <laughs> so... so I don't know. But like, I hadn't seen you wear this one for a while, and I needed something new. Which one? Which one was it? It was like a it was like a button up, like just like an outdoor tee button up. That's my favorite shirt. <laughs> Did you, you go went into to his Catalina closet? and you didn't wear it? So <laughs> I I was so worried that I, when I was wearing it, like if Patricia was taking photos of me, I was like, oh, <laughs> is he gonna notice? I never I, I never I don't mind shit like that when people like want to borrow something from mine. They don't I, I don't I don't really care for something. Yeah, reason. I don't either. You like, know why? Because I like to do. <laughs> Because I, because I yeah, like. Yeah, because you want to do it back. Yeah, I want to do it back. Yeah. I, I save those moments for like, like, that you, like now that you took my shirt, 
now I had that moment in my head, like, oh, now next time I really need a shirt, I'm just gonna go through your closet. Yeah, payback. Yeah. But just, you know, with respect. Yeah. But uh, Matt and I moved into our new house. Oh, we did. Last week or two weeks it's ago. Been, yeah, been like a little over a week. I love this house so much more than my house. It's really nice. It's if, very like safe. It's very yeah. domestic. Yeah. The other one, like, I did have, was like more kind of bachelor pad vibes, yeah. but like, I still felt like the design of that house was like still not like fully planned. Yeah, like, it, just something like, about it makes it makes it feel cold. Like, it's just like, oh, like it was just like one big room, yeah. and then a bunch of other rooms. This like, one has the proper standard. The person flow of that's the about house. to buy my house is watching this. <laughs> yeah, the new house definitely screams like golden retriever as a pet. The yeah. other one was like. Capuchin monkey. Yeah. Like, <laughs> okay. All right. Calm down. Exotic it's still my house. Tiger. It's still my house. Right. Right. <laughs> I still own it, Heath. Come on. I'm like, hopefully not for long. Yeah. But it's been like a We're, really. You're gonna get it, baby. It's gonna sell. I know. Hopefully. Hopefully. If not, I'll just rent it out. If you guys want to rent a house in like a month, let me know. <laughs> the addresses. I'll come over every here and there to check up on the AC and shit. We'll, we'll have fun, baby. You didn't check up on the AC the whole time you were <laughs> living there. Now we have a nest, though. It's really nice. <laughs> Imagine Zane as a landlord. Hey Zane, um, yeah, the hot water heater went out. Uh, just turn it on. Did, wait, wait, did face, you, face, face, me, face, 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 Did you put it on hot? <laughs> face time. No, no, you just no, no. Wait, wait, just like open it, open it. All right, can you go to closer? Yeah, you're gonna have to. Yeah, you're gonna have to call like a. <laughs> like yeah, let me call my. <laughs> like a guy. All right, it's it's a little choppy. Uh, can you go on the Wi-Fi? The Wi-Fi's not working, Zane. We need that fixed too. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, speaking of Wi-Fi, tell them about your new bed. Oh, we moved into the house and of course, you know, when you move into the house, the first few days, you don't have like Wi-Fi, you don't have the hot water working, nothing's working in the house and that's what happened in our house. And I'm, I'm, I put, I have the bed in my room and I'm like, oh, thank God. <clears throat> and I, I go to inflate the bed cause it's like a self inflator thing. You have to like turn it on. It's like a, it's a sleep number. Oh, bed. he rich. Oh, it's yeah. a sleep number yeah, bed. Yeah, it's like a- Wait, you have to like, like blow a, those up? I didn't know that. But yeah, because it um it goes up and down based on your sleep number. So if your sleep number is like thirty five, it like goes up a little bit. That's how that in. works. Yeah, you have to log into your account. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to log. <laughs> so I logged into my account and uh, you know on my LTE on my phone and I go to my sleep number app and I uh, try to like turn on my bed and it says I need fucking Wi Fi to inflate the bed. Wait, this is an app? Yeah, it's Your an bed app. has an app. Yeah. <laughs> and I needed Wi like I couldn't just do it on my like on my like regular like service. I had to have Wi Fi in order to turn on my fucking bed. <laughs> which makes no what sense. What kind of bull? So I couldn't even sleep in my own bed for three. I had to sleep in Todd's room in Todd's bed. That like doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it was so funny. He's like, I can't go to bed uh, because we don't the Wi Fi isn't working. <laughs> but that sounds like something you'd be like, Zane, what the fuck? Just, yeah. Zane, just put like, your phone down and go to bed. You don't need to be on anything. <laughs> no, it's too sleep. But like you couldn't even it wouldn't even inflate like it would have been a bad sleep yeah without it's oh like, no no i would have like, been, i would have been like this because it's like completely oh. encaved yeah like that it wouldn't have no been sense. it's like having a water bed but your your, your no water, water bill got cut off <laughs> and you, you can't you have no water to Wait, like that's fill exactly it, up. it actually that's really yeah funny. so we're doing a lot of shit like that the first few days moving day was so funny because of course, I tell everybody, I tell Todd and Matt, hey guys, we're moving. Tuesday, we have movers coming in. Oh, the, we hire these movers. The, they're fucking amazing. You have to hire them. Roadway, Roadway moving. moving. I'm gonna, like another shout out because they were the best fucking movers Damn. in the entire world. So I feel like you guys got done so fast. So we had it, like we had to box up everything the night before. So, you know, me, Matt, uh, Devin, Danielle, we're all like just getting our shit all ready to go for the next day. And Todd is not like starting on his room at all. And I was looking, I was like, oh man, he's gonna, I feel like he's gonna leave this shit for last minute. This is gonna be bad. Cause his room out of all of ours is the worst. There's just shit everywhere. Again, what we were talking about last, last time. He did this last time. Like I knew this was going to it's happen. A yeah. And so, sure so he, did, he didn't work on his room. We're all, all day, we're like boxing. And it's taking a long fucking time. You gotta start and, the boxing process like a week and a half beforehand. Yeah. Cause like you don't realize how much shit you actually have. Yeah, and oh, we yeah. we and we mind you, we don't have a lot of shit. Like compared to other houses, we don't have like that much shit. But still, it took so fucking long. Yeah, and then it hits like like five or six p.m. and Todd's gone. I was like, Danielle, where's Todd? And she's like, Oh, he's getting a facial. I was like, 
a facial, facial remove <laughs> in nine hours. And you're like, baby, I'm <laughs> about to give him a facial. <laughs> I was like, how is he getting a facial right now? We got to move. That's And funny. this room has like not barely even started yet. I just, and, I'm picturing like you guys running the house. <laughs> and he's just like. Yeah. <laughs> and so we, like, were bust, we were busting a sweat moving. I even took off my shirt just because whoa, I could Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> because I, cause I was just that? so hot moving yeah, around. Yeah, because like, it was not only that. our rooms. It was like the two other, it was like two other rooms, the living room, or the whole shelf, just like all these little knickknacks in the computer room, the podcast room, the piano right, room, just right. so much shit. You just have to make sure it's all together. Yeah. It was so funny. It was stressful thing. So fucking the stressful. Yep. And he comes in the next morning, and I, I I go upstairs just to check on his room. Everything is just in garbage bags. So oh the, my god! The clothes weren't folded. It was just like because he came in like hours before, or like a few hours before the movers came. It was That's it was bad. really funny to see. So they um, but everything ended up getting pretty much ninety five percent ready to go before by the good, time good. they came. I remember I remember texting Zane. I was like trying to get something done with him. And he's like, oh, I'm moving in the morning. I was like, oh shit, okay, your day is like wiped. He's like, no, 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 the move's only gonna take like two hours. I was like, two hours? <laughs> He's like, no, we don't have much. Like, it's gonna be quick. I was like, okay, two hours. In what world? It was like, what, 12 hours? Yeah. Yeah, it was It was it a was long fucking hours. day. Oh man. It's it You like, guys have a lot of knickknack. I mean, like, you and Todd have a lot of knickknacks. This kid's got, Zane doesn't have anything. This guy's got two villages to move. Yeah. True, but I moved Tec all of my villages separately two days before. So yeah. they didn't have to touch any of my villages. Imagine a mini moving He just he just villages. didn't he just didn't trust their hands on it. He really didn't. I did not at all. Though they probably could have handled it very, very well. I just needed to like know that. No I shit like took that you gotta bring me like my my like Mac laptop, my Mac computer, I like brought that in my car. Anything like that i just because they break it like yeah sure like I don't, I, <laughs> wait Zane, you remember us trying to be like moving out of the denny house us trying to be so careful with your brand new tv you bought right before we moved uh -huh. out hold on wait what happened it was your big ass sony t and we're oh. trying to move it in big red okay and we didn't want to put it in the back we we're trying to be so careful <laughs> <laughs> what happened as wait, i don't in, i don't remember this as we're getting in we're like sliding it into like the the front of the truck and it just hits the corner of a glass table and it just digs into the screen. No! And we're like sliding it and we're just like, we're like, oh, oh. <laughs> because it was just like, don't put it there because it's gonna get fucked up. Oh, no, 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 we can't do that. It's gonna get fucked up. And we're like, okay, we got the, we got it. <laughs> sliding it in. <laughs> and no! it's just dug into the screen. Oh, wait, no, there was this like fucking cut. In yeah. The TV, but I never changed my TV. I just dealt with the fucking, that. Because once cut. it was on, you couldn't tell. Like it was like a yeah. surface level scratch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like yeah. it didn't fuck up. But uh, like the when LCD. it's off, you can like clearly. <laughs> <see> <laughs> it. yeah. It's like a deep, it's like a deep one. Yeah. I'm surprised it didn't fuck up like the. I know, like break the. Yeah. The plasma. Or the pla yeah, I was really surprised. Isn't it we weird like that. TVs that like stain? I thought, I thought plasma was the future. Like plasma TVs. Yeah, plasma TVs can they burn. burn. Like, have you ever been to like a bar or my restaurant dad. and like a oh TV's off and it still has like just the DVD logo like burned into oh. the, the screen? Or oh it'll, yeah! It'll have like the, the sports like ESPN like logo in the corner. It just stays there because it's been, it, they keep it on all the fucking time. Nah, wow. Yeah, yeah. plasma like, burns. Like as a kid, I never like, I never noticed. I was I looked at like, huh, but like, now it's like what so growing up my dad used to work for sound advice and we would get like crazy tvs because like he was just giving it because he like worked there right and we had like really really nice plasma tvs and every single day it was like don't leave the tv on it's gonna burn an image and like i didn't like understand it i was like it's not gonna burn an image and sure enough we <gasps> had Every everyone had like a burn spot in it. Oh my! I would I would deposit on like a big picture, like a big Sponge shot Bob. of SpongeBob, <laughs> and just leave it on for two weeks. Just, <laughs> it's just the clown from it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that would that's be good. Good. Jesus. That's like, yeah. Or the ring. <laughs> yeah. We met, like on moving day. We uh we ran into one of our neighbors. Uh huh. And. It was it was so typical. It's like it's it was like a movie. The the old the old man comes out and he's at the garbage. And he's just like. <laughs> And we're like, hey. oh no, and he just nasty, yeah. No. Oh, oh yeah. There's gonna be there's gonna be some problems with the name. But I mean, 
but you don't the like, winter's gonna happen. Yeah. You're not really like, crazy. You're not. You guys aren't like crazy. Yeah, no, we don't like throw parties or yeah. anything. But like, just just saw, like when Any I saw that thing. and he was huffing at us, like he he was like, oh, three kids, three teenage boys moving it. We, we just look like t like we still look like fucking teenagers. People don't like look at us. Maybe you oh, do not adults. look like a teenager. <laughs> no, I'm just saying like the way we dress. Like when you see a family move in, they're all yeah. dressed. That's what our landlord said to us. Like they, the Completely. wife told the husband like absolutely no youtubers absolutely not like it yeah. was a no and he was like you have to meet them like trust me like it'll be fine and now they're so grateful that it's us that like have this yeah. house because we're taking care of it did i tell you about the owner of my house he did a facetime interview with me because because he, i was we were youtubers oh man so like we're, we're on this call and like i i put on a i put like on a button shirt everything just <laughs> I, you not, I, I put on a wig <laughs> <laughs> i was like oh okay oh, yeah, with my camera just vlogging yeah, yeah. vlogging the owner no, no, I, I like put on a bunch of, cause I just, I wanted to do everything I could to make it look like I was just mature, you know what I mean? Just mm -hmm. for it. And he's, and he's the first thing he says, so I know, I know you guys are YouTubers and, um, you know, and I was, and immediately I was just like, no, no, I know, I, I completely understand where you're coming from. Like, I know there's a really, really bad rap with YouTubers buying houses and completely messing it up. We are the complete opposite. I've owned two houses clean clean houses i don't like fuck no up complaints. anything you have nothing to worry about and he was just like okay good good all right you got the house i was like oh thank god yeah, yeah it's a horrible reputation mm -hmm. horrible like the especially like ones the just trash it the content houses and shit completely so trash and they leave ruined. it that way yeah they leave it i'm like how can you do that i'm surprised that? they don't have like maids those big ass houses i'm surprised they maids do. don't come through they're there they're just like they just oh god i've gone there. back into our old house uh on I don't which one? Which street? Altavia. Altavia. Oh yeah, we've we've said Altavia multiple times. Oh yeah. Altavia, well, I've gone back to that. <laughs> oh, now people are those, those TikTokers <laughs> living there, and it's disgusting. Oh, no. oh really? We were respectful. And that's tenants. a pretty house. Need, that's a nice family house. They have yeah, my bike is. in the garage. I need to go back and get it. I doubt it's still in there. <laughs> nah, it's not there. Still, are you serious? If somebody stole one dumbbell <laughs> from you. As, and, and, I'm sure they they're gonna give it bike. back with no wheels. He's like, Wait, they stole my Bryce, dumbbell. Bryce Hall stole my dumbbell. <laughs> and they're out. TikToker, so if there's a mic, they're taking the mic. They, I'm sure they need the mic for something. Wait, you said doing. bike? Oh, bike! I it's think it's a bicycle. Mic. And the bicycles, <laughs> it, I know the tires are deflated, and I know where it's sitting in the garage. I just need to go over there because I want to sell. Have the you bike. checked any of their pages to see if any of them have posted a picture in it yet? No, I don't think so. Imagine just like just one of those girls, like just. It's a little dirty. I don't know. Maybe. But I every day. But I don't know. They took your mic. <laughs> My mic. Yeah, the mic's gone, but the bike's there. If hmm. they took your mic, you'd just be hoot. Someone in the house has like a Welcome snake back to or hoot. something. In the house? Yeah. How do you know? Like someone, I, I walked, I think it was like your room. Someone had like a tarantula, something. Oh. Something in a, in a tank. I would never have an animal like that, like in my house. My buddies in college went to Texas State in San Marcos. Sorry, said Texas. What was that time? God damn it. Well, what's the time? <laughs> I, I thought I was about to get away without Does saying, Texas saying State San Marcos. Does Texas State matter? Wait, um, well. You know, I don't know. Maybe so. My buddies in college, though, I went down to go visit them. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and I remember they had this snake. Like every time I visited, they had the yeah. snake and the tank and everything. And I got there, and the tank is like empty. And I'm like, "Where's your snake?" And they go, "Oh yeah." So we got really high one night. We were like playing video games, and we were like letting the snake just like hang out in front of us. Oh my god. And then they like forgot like one of them went to bed and thought the other one put the snake you don't away just let a snake and the hang other one out. Di uh, didn't put the snake away and they woke up and they realized they left the snake out and they couldn't find it oh my they couldn't God. find it and so i was there and i was like how long has the snake been missing they were like shit like two three weeks ago and i'm like have oh you looked under God. like the oven the refrigerator they're like dude we've looked everywhere and i had a crash on the couch that night, knowing that it just a snake no. is oh, in the no, fucking No, 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 no. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have done that. And guess what? They no moved way. out, never found the snake to this Shut. day. Well, so it, imagine. It must, it's out then because it probably went through a vent and just is gone. There's no way it's just sitting in the house Well, that's, still. that's, that's another thing about snakes I don't like. Like a lot of people They're get a snake. Sneaky snakes. <laughs> sneaky <laughs> snake. No, people, people buy snakes, don't realize how big they get. Then they panic when they got you know, an eight foot long python Anaconda. or a boa constrictor <laughs> or something. And then they would go out to the Everglades and just drop these snakes off. And now they like took over the entire Everglades. Wow. Yeah. Exotic animals, man. Like people, people are really irresponsible. Uh. You know, they're, they're, I think they're paying uh, people in Florida right now. Don't I don't know if it's the exact number, but I think they're giving people like 10K 
to per ch- per like animal per snake they're bringing in from the Everglades if you catch them out there or something. Oh. Really? Like, so, like a really high number. That's crazy. So, 10K a snake? Because well, it was That's back in the cocaine lot. days in Miami where you had all these fucking drug dealers pushing in cocaine and they were Dude. like, I gotta have 10 snakes. Like I, they wanted the most exotic freaking animals. And then like when the laws started cracking down about what you could own needing licenses, they just released all that shit. Yeah. Wow. There's, like, there's like giant goldfish in the canals too. Like massive goldfish because they all like all just went into there. That's pretty bizarre. You don't need them. You like goldfish, Mariah? Yeah. The crackers? Yes. Pretzel ones are the best. Do you know they do the mix one now? You have yeah, goldfish it's and pretzels? Pretty good. Pretty, pretty flavor pretty blasted. Mix. Pizza flavor blasted. Buy a pool after getting it out of the pool and you have some of those, mm-hmm. a handful of those. Nothing like it. That yeah. should be hitting different. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor of this podcast, DoorDash. What do you want to eat tonight? Maybe you want a home cooked favorite, but you don't want to leave the house, or you want something exciting and new, mm-hmm. but you want to just stay in. You're feeling a little lazy. Well, DoorDash is the perfect app for you. Get exactly what you want when you want and get it delivered right to your door. It's so crazy. There's so many times I'll I'll be driving around and I'll see a restaurant and be like oh my god i've ordered that on doordash so many times and like it's just fun to just stay at home and try different foods out and just you know have that the luxury mm-hmm. of going out and adventuring but just doing it from the inside in the comfort of your own home and it's actually the fastest one out there because i've tried other ones not as quick as doordash Door, it's quick precise and you feel like the food is coming to you in one piece and they don't mess up your order along with the restaurants you love now you can get groceries and other essentials items delivered right to your door with doordash and you get them in under an hour with over three hundred thousand partners you can support your neighborhood go-tos or choose from your favorite national restaurants like popeyes cheesecake Cake Factory, the National Cheesecake Factory, or even Chipotle, or the National Cheesecake Factory, your favorite. <laughs> Ordering is super easy, and it's going to be left safely outside your door with the new contactless delivery option. For a limited time, our listeners can get twenty five percent off and zero delivery fees on their first order of fifteen dollars or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter code Unfiltered twenty twenty one. That's twenty five percent off up to ten dollars and zero delivery fees when you download the DoorDash app and enter promo code unfiltered 2021 don't forget that's code unfiltered 2021 for 25% off your first order with DoorDash subject to change and terms apply thank you DoorDash for always coming into the rescue when we're hungry and we want something good to eat when we want to just stay at home um so you guys had we had a really great weekend um oh we had Raya's birthday we had a wild week my time to shine I'm ready right. it's you ready okay so you this ready happened <laughs> <laughs> your goes. turn okay you get the stick. <laughs> <laughs> you give me the talking stick. The talking stick. We should have one. We don't know when to talk. Oh, good idea. <laughs> That's how annoying. <laughs> A four-hour episode. <laughs> I'm just like this. <laughs> <laughs> it was my birthday. Happy birthday, Mariah. That's Thank it. you. How, how, how old did you turn? 27. 27. Believe it or not. <laughs> good year. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited for this year. Wow. And, uh, Let's ha- kill it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Best birthday and- yet. So, first of all, on Friday... Friday was my birthday on the 27th. We had this really nice dinner that Heath set up for me. And I thought nobody was going to come. I Why do you, why would you think nobody would show up? Because I lightly planned my birthday weekend. And I wanted to celebrate because it was my champagne birthday. I wanted it to be a big celebration. I've never done like a more than one day thing celebrating. Yeah. So I was like, let's just do like a dinner on my birthday. And then we'll figure out the weekend. Like maybe we'll do Catalina. It was just being sprinkled in. And Heath was like, I got it. It was like two weeks before. He was like, I got it. I got it. And then the day leading up to it, I don't hear from my friends. Like I don't hear from Heath. And I'm telling Heath the day of, I'm like, should we make a reservation? Like, I don't mind if you didn't do anything. And he was just like, if you want to still do dinner, that's fine. And I was like, yeah. So I was kind of defeated. I was like, it's all right. Like, I don't know how, if we're going to get the reservation, whatever. And he just kept like just like brushing it under the rug and like moving on with his day and he was just like if you still want to do dinner like we can i was like well should i text my friends like how big of a table can we get he goes text whoever i'm like (laughs) okay so i'm texting my friends they're all playing dumb i show up and there's like 20 people at the table yeah that's how birthdays work somebody else does the i don't know that i've never had anything like like the whole day leading up she's like well, do we have a reservation? Who's going? So <laughs> he and goes, so, you're asking a lot of questions. I was like, just, I was like, too much. Just, we're, we're going to go get dinner. It's going to be nice. So I thought it was going to be me, Heath, and my brothers. <laughs> <for> <laughs> birthday dinner, How romantic. Which I was fine with. It was at a nice, we had 
we had it at this restaurant called Smokehouse, which is in the neighborhood. Oh, La oh, La so La La Land was filmed there. So everyone was like looking at the room that La La Land was filmed in where he's playing the piano. So and the, in the office. The office had, it was Jim, Jim Wait, and Pam. Wait, that's where they filmed? Uh, it was Jim and Pam's, Pam's wedding rehearsal. Yes. Oh, I thought it was yes. like where they do the Dundies. That's at Chili's. Oh, yeah. Classic. Cla come on. Shit. I <laughs> fucked up. I fucked up. But before that, I wanted to make a once again i keep saying champagne birthday like champagne golden birthday i don't know what people call it it's when you turn the number that you're turning is the date of your birthday yeah. so 27 on the 27th so it's a big deal uh, i guess i, I know. didn't know Whatever. that when i was 18 yeah <laughs> heath was I five was, i was yeah. nine yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, um so i wanted to make a I wanted to give myself a birthday gift, something that I can have forever. So I decided to make my first big girl purchase and I wanted a designer bag. Oh. And I'm not a very I would it'd you're be nice to have you're a bougie it'd bitch. be nice to have designer stuff, but that's not like where my money goes. I'm yeah. just like I'm always like, I don't need it, I don't need it. So finally I was like, let me like make a big purchase. And I gave myself a budget and I guess we can talk about the budget. My budget was, I was like 3000 and that's it. Because I yeah. mentally Ooh! can't, I mentally could not do it. And I was well, like, what'd you buy a freaking airplane? What'd you buy? The whole store or what? <laughs> and yes, that's a lot of money. But walking into these stores, I was like, this is nothing. That, that budget was being <gasps> no. stretched. I was that like, case, I, 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 I could get a wallet. Like I was so scared I was going like, to walk out with a wallet. <laughs> a wallet. Jeez. They're like, try the outlet. <laughs> yeah, you could try Sears. Yeah. <laughs> so like there was this one purse that I looked at in Dior and I walked in and it was this beautiful, it was just a plain white purse. I was like, let me get something plain. And it was this cute little purse, but it had this beautiful strap on it. So it was plain white and the strap was like the color of your shoes, like blue and white floral. It was just classy. It was nice. This small thing. Yeah. She goes, okay, so it's 34. And I'm like, okay. And she goes, and the strap's 12. I was like, Ugh. the strap it is 12. Separate. It didn't come with the strap for the purse. It's not like attached. It's like, no, it is attached. you gotta buy it separately. It hooked on to the purse, but you gotta buy it separately. And I was like, why? I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to think about it. Like, I just gave it back to her. I was but like, But who's no buying way. it without the strap? Like, you can't. Dan, they yeah. do that because they know they can. It, because the people are in there, are they, they have a lot of money, so they don't care. Right, like, and we're trying to play it cool in there with my brothers, and they're just like, this This is not happening. And I was, I cannot justify spending spending that much money on something but i wanted it to be something that i can hand down to my future kid and okay. something that's gonna last forever so i was like that's not the purse whatever so we go into um east saint laurent oh, hey! i wasn't planning on doing that brand because everybody has the black like ysl bag yeah. everybody has it yeah so we walk in the four of us and the four of us dart to this one bag. It was so weird. We just beelined for the same bag and we're looking around like the four of us just looked at the same bag. We all like looked at it and started reaching for it. I like I said, it I've never like... bought anything designer in my life and I made the decision in 15 seconds. The lady helped me take it down and, and I was like, okay, this is it, I'll take it. And ever, ever, my brothers and Heath were like, that's it? And I was like, like, this is it. This is oh, it. Thank this gosh. is the bag. So she was, show, of course she was showing me the wallet and, the, and I was like, no, 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 like I'm good. And what's cool is my mom, I told my mom my budget and she was like, why don't you try to make it like 2,700 for like my 27th? Yeah. And I was like, okay. And it was close. It was 26, 25, 26. Well, no, no, that's good. It's cheaper. It was 23. And I was like, oh, maybe with tax, it'll like rack up to 27. Maybe. I don't know how that works. It w wasn't exact. <laughs> You're getting me. excited that it's Her, a more expensive me, right, than like, hey, a thousand more. <laughs> yeah. Ring it up. Um, so I got the bag. I'm here to show everybody. Oh, let's see let's it. See it. <laughs> we hate it. <laughs> no, nice. oh, that's really nice, Mariah. Go ahead, Bubba. Whoa, Whoa. that's really nice. That's timeless. That it yes, looks... it's time. It's very grandma e print, but it's, it's timeless. But that's so, why it'll work, and it's so great for the fall. Yes, it's perfect. So for and the people listening, this yes. is. Oh, um, Matt, please describe it. <laughs> so, yeah. I, uh, so on like from really far away, you would think this is houndstooth, but it's not. Right. Oh, right. So yes. it's kind of like this, like uh, a more distressed stitching of like a houndstooth. Yes. It has an amazing texture <laughs> um, with all, very fall kind of elements. Quilted. We have hints of like pumpkin orange <laughs> and like. Uh, Why well, gives them a whole year partnership? Yeah, not right. <laughs> Look at that. Whoa. Whoa. And, the, and this beautiful gold. Oh, God. It's so heavy. It's heavy. Yeah. Oh, what's that real fucking gold, huh? Yeah. You need like a matching outfit with this, too. Right. Well, that was the other thing. I was set on a black bag, a plain black bag. So like, because, like every day. Because I don't spend a lot of money on myself. But so I told myself it has to be something that I'm going to be able to wear 
with any outfit because I'm probably not going to do this again for a long time. I wanted black. I walked in. I was like, somebody has that purse. Somebody has that purse. And this is like the total opposite. I've never, seen, really I've never seen a bag like that. <laughs> Why do you have a check in here? I have to cash it. What do you mean? <laughs> Whatever check. I make money, man. You need Matt. to cash it. You need to pay for the purse. Well, the this purse. check paid for half of the purse, so... <laughs> Um, it looks, yeah, so it looks like an expensive, like yes, nice and nobody pearl. has this. I just, yeah, I love how vintage it looks. Like it looks yeah. like a, yeah. like a oh, cool I was 70s. Saying, oh, sorry, I was saying I lost my train of thought. My, I wanted black so it would match with every outfit, but I Matt, feel you like look great with a purse. Sorry, this prevents me from wearing wearing it every day because it doesn't match everything so i can keep it safe it's not going to be overused yeah you know oh my but i've gosh. used it every day <laughs> that's great Mara. i don't know how to handle oh, it and you could carry like a small pet in there like yep. joe's new dog why does yeah. it say hong kong uh oh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> I, the, this, <laughs> made in china <laughs> why does it say made in china <laughs> I love she just it. Lied. Well, congratulations, Mariah. Thank right. you. Guys, I did it. her on her new purse. Congrats, Bubba. I did it. Good Woo! for you. I'm excited. I'm proud of myself. You should be, Bubba. I wish men had purses. They do. I know, you but can, like, yeah, you can bag. get a purse if you want, Matt. This looks good on you, honestly. Matt, wh why don't you be like, why don't you bring it back? Men Harry Styles purses. can wear yeah. a skirt. I don't you know. Can wear a purse. I'm, I'm too self-conscious. Wait, I actually to like it. I, that's why I said it. Like, looks good on you. I think the cardigan helps. Here, I think the Capri helps. Stand up. Stand up. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. I think I on TikTok who does like the poses. Like Wait, actually, I kind of like it. I like it. I, I, I think it needs to be a little. <laughs> it needs to be a little longer. Oh, make it longer. The purse. We'll show him how to make it longer. Oh, yeah, yes, make it longer. drop one strap. There. <laughs> there. Oh. Go. Wow. Matt, they can't see. Matt, your face. I you're, think you're Matt. Above the camera. Matt, Matt, for one night. We should go out and just have a per. See, no, no. We get back in the Uber like amazing night. <laughs> <laughs> I left it in the club. <laughs> Shit. Matt, you should you should you should make a purse your thing. Any purse brands that want to send me some man satchels. But so. why did that look really good on him? It did. Mariah, I it did. Matt, you know right, what? Mariah. It's not about me. There you <laughs> go. It's not my birthday anymore. <laughs> Best birthday and, yet. And y'all went to Catalina. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry I didn't go, Mariah. Mm, it's all right. I didn't notice. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm gotcha, just kidding. bitch. I'm just kidding. No, I got another one. We weren't surprised. You didn't go. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, Patricia's no, okay. one of Patricia's good friends was having something, and like we didn't want to split both ways. Mm. And, okay. You know when it's, it's ever something and he needs to defend it, it's always. <laughs> well, Patricia. <laughs> well, Patricia's. <laughs> How's I'm it? just trying to be a uh, compromising boyfriend, you know. <laughs> I don't know, but anyways. Well, he actually no, he did. He did have something. He went to uh, another uh, birthday party. Went to yeah. Nick Vial and Natalie Joy's. Uh, it was Natalie Joy's birthday party. Oh, I thought you and Jack, to... our editor's birthday party. Yeah, it was a combined that, that birthday was, party for them important. at Nick's house. Yeah. Oh, it's at Nick's house. His yeah. birthday was at Nick's house. The yeah. three nice. birthdays beat yours, bub. Sorry. Yeah. That's okay. But y'all went to Catalina. Tell me yeah. about it. It was really exciting. Uh, I got to ride my first ferry. That was fun. Was it a ferry or just a, a boat? I, Were there cars on no, it? No, it was like a little. I like I, <laughs> no, I thought like I honestly thought ferries were like the like the little like the little like a canoe. No, uh, no. Uh, like what? What do they call them? A, a gondola? gondola. A gondola. No, something like that. Like I thought ferries were like like the ones going to Catalina Island. I thought we were catching a ferry. You thought like we this. were taking that? Yeah, because well, I didn't think that like, is a little. Because I didn't think a lot of people were going to like. Catalina every day. I didn't think it was like it's a just some popular. Italian man with like a, a red. Yeah, oh, yeah. Catalina. <laughs> it takes us two and a half days to get there. You have to hold your hat the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Um, we yeah, almost the, missed it though. It was. Oh, we, we had were, a run. Oh, we literally ferry. ran onto it as it was like getting ready to take off. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we no time worst. to spare. See, that's the shit. Like, <laughs> but it, it was keeps fun. it exciting. Yeah, the ferry's fun. There's like it wasn't open, but there's a bar where you can get food and drinks. But there's like 200 seats on the thing. That's yeah, double decker. Yeah, but it's we really all nice. separate. I've, I've taken it. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's really nice. And uh, so you guys get there. What's the first thing you do? Breakfast. Oh, nice. Had a little brunch. Yeah, it was really nice. We plan and on doing incredible. a lot of activities because there's like zip lining and rock climbing and ropes like course, ropes course. Like they had all these stuff. activities, but apparently we came on the worst day of the year. You needed reservations for everything. We we went there and it was like it was it so lo packed. It looked like everybody decided to go there on that same exact day. Yeah. yeah. It was It's like the island was sinking. Like everybody was just yeah. getting in their Catalina trip that day. And we've been plenty of times on a Saturday 
We couldn't get a golf cart. We couldn't do anything. And we were it hyping it up for our friends that were that we're gonna have never do all been. Yeah, yeah, you guys are and it was yeah. so embarrassing. I was like, I swear, like, we're going to be able to do something. We ended up not doing any activities, but it was like we had the time of our lives. Like, we yeah. went to the arcade. Everybody was getting along with everybody. We pretty much did everything that was available that and, day because everything was kind of booked. And I'll be honest, we tried to buy off. <laughs> everything and it was not yeah. working we tried to get a cabana like, we couldn't on the even beach. get a fucking beach chair we couldn't get <laughs> it was nothing. 150 dollars per chair and <laughs> we, there was 15 of us <laughs> we couldn't get an umbrella nothing and and our buddy vince he he like he's kind of like a, an italian kind of like gangster type dude he's you, like if you watch jeff's podcast he's on there all the time he's like <laughs> we're like how much is a cabana he's like it doesn't matter they're they're all booked out he's like i'm gonna give you 500 dollars right now we're gonna get that cabana he's so smooth with it he it works like every every time he's just and like they were still like well no. like well first we walked like let me just backtrack real quick we went into the breakfast joint we like go to get in line and there's like a wait and we have 12 of us this party's huge <laughs> everybody's sitting there there's people we walk up and he goes I'm gonna give you a hundred bucks. You're gonna give us that next table that opens up. <laughs> he she goes, here's forty for a down payment. I'll yeah. give you the rest he later. He doesn't ask. He tells. He tells. It you is the and they're like, what's gonna I'm going to. Yeah, it's you crazy. This and you will give me. And that. then goes, here's forty now. When you see it, I'll give you the rest. <laughs> <laughs> and the girl. And the girl's like, like okay. <laughs> oh, and you got it? Yeah. We sat Twelve in, of us. Twelve. In literally like two minutes, we had a fucking table on the front of the yeah, boardwalk. All together. Waterfront. There wasn't even a way. <laughs> <laughs> it probably wasn't. Like, it's just like, right. yeah. Like <laughs> everybody just knows Vince is that guy that you yeah. gotta just tell but no like, to. And then after is he like, guys, everyone Venmo me. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, he oh. he just likes to like take care of like people. Like he just like. But you had your moment. You got the golf carts for I us. Did it, I did he it. He went right up to the window, and he I don't know what you did. I I just took it right out of his playbook. I'm gonna give you. <laughs> I didn't have that much. I said I'd give you fifteen bucks now and five more oh, dollars. When the I guy get the goes, get the hell out of oh, here! You You're like, damn it! Oh, I thought I thought he um I thought he knew who you were. That's why he gave. He you did. The golf it helped. No, but like, that, oh, oh. Just, let me let me be cool for a second. <laughs> oh. oh <okay. laughs> Yeah, he was you, a big fan. you slide two quarters over it. Like, I'm gonna give you this now. <laughs> two gold coins. <laughs> <laughs> two gold doubloons. Thank God we got those golf carts though, because we wouldn't have gone far. That was a blast. Because you really, you, like, when you go on Catalina Island, now that we've been there, you really need a golf cart to get. Everything. Yeah, right. I didn't realize. You, Patricia and I went, and I didn't know. I didn't think they had the golf cart thing when we were there. Like, yeah, I don't it's know. like the it main like station COVID. when you when you arrived there. there was it was like everybody's town when Patricia and I went though. There was like nothing going on. You went on a weekend. A weekday. A weekday. Huh? Yeah. The the Descanso Beach Club looked like a Vegas resort. It, it looked was, like Hudson Caicos. It was fucking yes. insane. There was one group of people that were like fifty oh and my older. God. Oh, they Matt, were getting you buck fucking yes. wild. Would have fucking puked your brains out. They were Matt. They Wait, were who? old. Oh. They, they were they, old. They were like like some of them had to have been like sixty. Our parents bikinis, listening right now in bikinis, but they were taking body shots off each other the whole time. He's, I saw myself in that group very much. <laughs> I, I saw. Dave I wasn't saw, bothered. Was like, He's just like, whoa. I was like, okay, well, they're still doing that now. That means I may have a chance. They look like crazy. all they did was vacation because they were so tan, <laughs> they were so red. sun kissed. Yeah, <laughs> the, and the, they were the just light, <laughs> the light in, in here the is middle what they of the restaurant, like. laying on the tables, doing body shots. And then there was a bridal party that came over and joined them, and they were mixing parties. I was like, "What it, is going?" It was fun. It was fun though. It was like just <laughs> seeing everybody just like really letting loose. It was fun to watch. Wow, it was crazy. It was did wild. you make? Did you make the uh, ferry for your way home? We did. Because oh, if you miss that, you stay in the night in Catalina. Yeah. Listen, yeah. so explain your your Instagram picture with the baby. Oh yeah. So and how did I, that happen? Why don't so, you tell us about? It? So oh so uh, there was a this lady that had like a baby. And she had she had two kids, right? She had two yeah. kids, and she watches she watches the podcast. She knows who we were, so she comes up, and I'm like really drunk. I'm like, <laughs> and I'm and, like, and she's just like, oh my god, blah blah blah, nice. I was like, nice to meet you. And then I'm looking at the baby, and the baby, <laughs> just, the cutest baby, and she just has this like back, like a, like the reverse back pad yeah. with the you know the <laughs> little baby holder. And I look at her, I'm like, can I carry your baby? And she was just like, yes. And <laughs> gives me her baby. The baby's knocked out sleeping. Like now thinking about it, I was like, thing. I can't believe she gave me her baby. <laughs> and I'm and it's nice that it's in a backpack. You not like, oh, I hate it, holding babies. I, but if I felt like the baby yeah. was hugging me. It was so tight where like it was so comforting. So the, I'm, the baby's sitting there and she's just like, that's my kid too here. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my so god! So now Whoa, it was the... a thing. It's like the whole island got together and said, "He's the one that we give our babies to." I'm the to. one. It's like, like you're the running. Matrix. It's like I'm you're running one. for president. Like yeah. you kiss the baby. <laughs> like, yeah. She just wanted five minutes to run to the bar real quick. <laughs> <laughs> But you guys were all gone. You guys kept walking. I don't think you knew what was going on. No, I didn't. I, I got back to you and you had a picture of you holding a child. And I was like, <laughs> You when? missed it, man. You see, in, on Catalina Island, there's shit happening everywhere. Anything and we really got to experience that. Uh, but it was it was, a, it was a really fun time. Everything was closed. We couldn't buy our way into the yeah. rest of the activities. But it was popping. There but was, it was people poppin'. everywhere. It was manic. I got to go back. And then yeah, we, really we ended up catching the boat back. We didn't miss it. I booked the one before the last one just in case. So if we <clears throat> did, there was one more going out. Did you burn that money though? What? That's a federal crime. Oh, so wait, wait, wait. You booked you the bought, other you one bought and one. you didn't use no, that I one. No, I booked the, the 830 because there was a 9 like. So they put you something. on the next one if you miss one. Oh. Just yeah. in case if we didn't make it, we had the opportunity. Wait, I'm surprised they let you do that. If there's seats, yeah. Oh, if oh, there's okay, not okay. seats, you got to book a hotel. Yeah, yeah, on a day like that, there's no way. Yeah. We would have been screwed. It was, every seat was full. <laughs> we, so we, we, got, we couldn't sit together. We all had to find individual seats. It was the late night ferry and we... Everyone was trying to fall asleep, and me and Zane are starting the wave. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody, like, Mar like Mariah was like loud. She was just like, "All right, guys, come on, come on, cheer up. We're gonna do the wave." And she goes like this, and I, I have a video of it. And you see like one person go up, and then she does it again. People are sleeping. People are like trying to. Get but every time, time we did it, there was one extra person that added on to it, and yeah. there was people that were into it. <laughs> and there was one girl like in the back people. row who was. <laughs> <laughs> she went I, I, I got a video of that too like when eight people put their hands up this a little girl in the back goes <laughs> it was the cutest thing in the world she was having fun <laughs> It and then we so did it again funny. and nobody did it. And literally no hands went up. We're like, yeah, we all right, were, well, we read the room. Over. We fell asleep. Yeah, enough is enough. That was yeah. crazy. We left we left early just so we could all sit together. We left we what 45 minutes, yeah. an hour early before. And we were the last ones to get on. And we were the last ones to Everyone get on the had line. The same idea. Wrapped up the whole island. To it was get insane. On this fucking it was ferry. massive. But yeah, Catalina Island, if you live in LA or anywhere around <laughs> there, you guys should check it out. But it's the fun, most fun, exciting fun. part of the Catalina adventure was coming home. Oh my God. Yeah, that was, bro, that was like one of the most terrifying experiences of my fucking life. So I, we we all drove, or not all drove separate. So the I boys had the had girls, car. the boys were in Heath's car. Yeah, Mariah's two brothers were in town, so they were with us. And my and little Scott, brother was driving Heath's truck. Yeah. Yeah. And we get into the truck and we're just like ready to go home. And all of a sudden, <laughs> I think Scott found, I don't know where it was, but he found a bottle of Goldschlager under my seat and there was like a shot or two left and we all were like a, a little more please yeah. like you know we like had like a whole day and we're just like fuck it keep the thing keep, going keep it going so we like had like a couple like little swigs and then we're like fuck it let's just stop at a liquor store real quick we'll just grab some stuff we're going back to it my wasn't house. even a liquor store it was like it wasn't a 7-eleven no it was, it was like a full oh, liquor store. it was a full liquor store okay. but it was just like we, we were just driving we've been on the road made like 10 minutes yeah and like i just looked up the closest one off an exit. So we pull up, <clears throat> park real quick, we get out, we're grabbing some stuff, we got a whole bag of chicharrones, we had like uh, a couple snacks and we just like got a couple bottles of alcohol. We were making jokes then, with, the, with the cash register Oh yeah, it was, guy. it was fun, it was a really we good vibe. We were all having a great time. All of a sudden we get the stuff, we're walking out, and uh, a group of guys like pulled up right in front of the store, and one of them walks up to Zane and he's like, yo, give me all the beers. And Zane was like, I didn't. Okay, so I was like, I was, again, I was like, at this point, I was like pretty, pretty drunk. So I didn't understand what was going on. So when he said, like, I thought he asked, Can I have a beer? I, I heard, Can I have a beer? I no, didn't he, really he, process he asked that. for all of them. And I was like, I could give you a shot because I just got about, I didn't want to give him like all the beer. So I was like, How about a shot? Like, I wasn't thinking. <laughs> I really wasn't thinking. Zane's Zane trying to bar. Everybody, everybody already is like walking towards the car, and I hear, I don't know who I, it was. I was like, Zane, let's go. They, Zane, no, 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 no. Are, you said it just like this. Zane, get to the car yeah. now. It are was these like, like rough and tough like guys? Like, they were what? like, I, I don't want to Were they also like, drunk? 
No. No, 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 no. Oh, they, I thought you guys said they were the, clearly There was drunk. one guy who was like kind of like oh, okay. acting weird. Joking with you or like? No, no, he was being serious now that like when they told me the next night because they were there. But like, I didn't really, just listen, I didn't really, just I didn't really no. hear him. I heard what's like all the beer, like beer, beer. So I was just like, you can have a shot. But we, so we run to the and car. I'm the last one in. There's, well, there's five of them outside. And we all start like walking back to the car. I was like, Zane, let's go. We got to go now. And then all five of them start walking with us, like behind us. Yeah. I was like, get in the car now. So we run, grab the door, rip it open. Lock and we, it. We're all slamming and trying to press the lock as quick as we can to like keep it. And then they come up to the windows and they're pulling on the door handles, <gasps> trying to open the, the door. That must one have one happened so fast. Banging on the window like I'm on, this, trying I'm to on break the passenger it. side um, and he's punching my window, like trying to break through the fucking window. Now keep in mind, nah. my little brother is way too calm about situations. So when they told me how he like, reacted, I was like, that's so him, just too calm. I was, was, like, I was like, not. John, drive. And they had it surrounded, <laughs> so they were behind, so he couldn't back up. What and did I John was like, say? He's like, I, I can't really, I can't really I'm back trying to, up. I know, right I'm trying to back up. He's like, I'm trying to, but they're, they're kind of in the way. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, run them no, over. No, no, no. In this situation, Matt, if it was me, him, or anybody else driving, we would we would have ran them over. Because like, it was terrifying. They wanted they wanted like we didn't know what they what they were gonna do to us. But like we didn't do anything to them. We just walked out of the store, that situation happened, and then they're like, We're we're gonna we're gonna fucking jump these guys or whatever with these guys. We all, didn't do anything. All of them surrounding, trying to smash the windows to get like to get in. Just because they want a party? Did no, you know? no, no, no. I, I think no, it was meaning, just, it was to make the approach like, give me this shit. We don't want to assume what Why this group they, were. Did they, were they we over 21? They, we think they were like, gang members They were definitely gang bangers. Jesus, but it's crazy. It, it's like, it y'all want beer? Go. No, what? Matt, it wasn't about the beer. I think it was just showing dominant. Like, they were just, oh. they were give ready, the to, okay, they were ready cool. to fuck yeah, us. Now yeah, now give me the watch. Now, now yeah, give me your wallet. Slow them down in their oh, trash. Shit. Yeah, it's just like that, that we, approach to something to say. But it was like a big group of them, so we're like, oh my god, and we didn't know if they had guns on them, like hadn't because we're in this truck and we're going slow by, and we're like, bro, John bro, we got drives. because John, you gotta fucking drive <laughs> right now. We're gonna get shot. He was worried about his, his mirrors us. not being adjusted. Yeah, yeah. He was. <laughs> he's like, he, he's like, like bro. He, he just folded my passenger mirror. <laughs> And this is your raptor? Yeah. Yeah. How, how, were they like jumping up to the window? Like, it's like, give it to me. <laughs> he, I wish, I don't know why any of us, I mean, it was definitely in the moment we're all fucking, we felt like we we're about to die, but like, I wish I got to record it just to show you guys how serious the situation it was, was. Yeah, it was so serious, but like none of us even thought about like recording it. Yeah, I'm fucking sweating right now just thinking about that night. It was like, dude, man. John is still trying to back up, but the guys are in the back and this kid is literally at my like window, like looking at my face and he's smashing the window and he's like, open the fucking door. And he's like trying to get in and he's, dude, I was freaking, I didn't know what to do. And like, I just, I grabbed my knife. Like I have like a knife in the truck, like literally for emergencies, you never know what the fuck could happen. Exhibit A. This is the first time I've ever been in a situation like this in my life. So I was just like, fuck, like I need to defend myself. So I grabbed my knife real quick and I held it up. I was like, back the fuck up, back the he fuck just, up. He's just screaming like, back, like, because we had nothing, there was nothing, nothing else that we had. And then finally they like chilled for a second. I was like, back the fuck up. I was like, John, drive, drive. <laughs> and so he just started backing up. We finally fucking got out of the parking lot. We drive, we made a right, and dead we're like, end. holy shit, it's a fucking dead end. <laughs> no! so, now, so now it's a big ass truck and he's reverse. <laughs> drive. And we didn't reverse. know if they were like right drive. behind us, a like following point us. Turn. Freaking the fuck, yeah, and trying to turn around. And when we have to drive back past the liquor store to like get <laughs> out. And he's like doing like 10 miles. I'm like, motherfucker, <laughs> go! It was crazy. And no, if you guys were wondering, I was not wearing this purple turtleneck. Just to let you know. <laughs> right, I seemed vulnerable. I don't want to make a scene. I, don't, I wasn't wearing this, I swear to God. You're right, you're in a floral fucking button <laughs> down. But man, we. I remember leaving there, we were all just so fucking just. I think, it, I'm, I'm gonna say it, I think that was the most like, probably scared i've ever been because moments like that happen all the time where, but people actually just get killed just just quickly just out of nowhere just like that because and then 
I started freaking out because I was like, okay, maybe Mariah and the girls stopped to go somewhere too in the area. And I was blowing up her phone and her phone was dead. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh my oh, God. No. And I started, I was stopped panicking. Too. Nothing like that happened to us, but we stopped in Long Beach too to stop for gas. And we all went inside to get like snacks and drinks. And it was just us in this giant gas station with a bunch of like just old men like just like dirty old men that were just looking at us and i was like let's all check out together and just walk to the car together because oh, we oh, they were checking out together too. <laughs> it was so <laughs> uncomfortable because they, they kept trying to talk to us and look at us so we all like ran to the car together and as we were getting in they like they like walked out to the sidewalk and just were like waving to get our attention and i was like i still nope. have to pump my gas and i was literally on dead e i was like i don't have a choice but to pump it so i like turned it on and then we all got in the car and i locked it and i just waited for it to be done and they were just like this and inching closer and i was like please so i didn't even fill it up all the way i was like let's get you the know hell what out to do here. i saw somebody do this and i was like i've always oh, you thought can about spray this. them pull the fucking thing out and just spray yeah, it i had it in my head i was gas. like oh i want to do it but oh, yeah. but be careful if that if it doesn't work some of them have a little sensor on the like it's kind of like a little thing when you put it in you have to like push oh that makes so sense if, yeah. if it doesn't spray just <laughs> pull like a uh, pull the or just make it, it like a flamethrower so you, like as you're spraying you just do the lighter you should you bring go. a lighter with me he has good. a cigarette ace <laughs> <laughs> you, you like spray <laughs> and you're like oh my god dude imagine something happened and her both her brothers died like in oh that car with us god. her mother would have fucking killed us Tina rang our neck Tina would have yeah. done oh my god you would have lost the four best thing that's ever happened to you. I just wish right. I saw Matt in that situation. Oh, Matt would, dude, Matt would have fucking uh, freaked. Please, I please, done. please. Matt, Matt would have been like this. Just please. Like, Guys, stop, stop, <laughs> yeah, yeah, stop. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just don't understand why you're doing this. <laughs> what? Why? What? 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 That's exactly either that or I would have just gone into like, <laughs> just like just, uh, emergency brace system. Just down. Matt would have been like, you know what? Just kill me. Kill me. Kill me now. <laughs> <laughs> do it. Matt would have been take my money <laughs> take my wallet imagine we went like the full we did the like we put the window down a little bit we just gave him everything we <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh my no but Heath made a good point about like what he thought it was because it was it was like one kid first and he, how old did that kid look? He like, or not? It wasn't a kid, but like he looked young. They look like was, teenagers or in their twenties. Oh, uh, oh, he was our age. He he probably. looked. He had like a baby face. They're like twenty five. But the he, fact that all the other like the other guys came like slowly after him, like he was saying, it almost seemed like it was like an initiation. Yeah. Well, that's but what I was thinking. I was like, it could have gone really bad. Like initiation for like gangs, like you got to kill like your first person, then you get to like be in <gasps> or it or jump your first or any or something. You know, something. They have like different shit. They but. were gonna if he got it, they would have called him like Coors. Would have been his nickname. <laughs> like what? He got like Coors Light. Like, oh, because the the beers that we were holding. <laughs> but man, do you think after they were like, you're out, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, see ya. It was only four. You only killed four, not five. You're yeah. out. We would have been dead, dead for nothing. You dead for right? nothing. Does this mean I'm not part of the gang? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Damn. guys, but you know, lesson is just fucking be careful. It doesn't matter be where. Be aware of your surroundings. Be, always be aware. When you're, whenever and you see something give sketchy. Away free beer or shots. Yeah. And just, drive. Just drive. drive. <laughs> if you're in a situation, like, like, no, actually, if one of us ran one of them over in a situation like that just to get i would get, called, i would like as soon it, like if we would have actually accidentally ran one over i'd have called the cops been like listen we almost just got like mugged i know i but, think i ran one over but le legally thing. legally would we like or the driver and would, would we have been fucked no, we were, yeah we, i mean it isn't there like doesn't there have to be something where you, like they have to do in order for you to be able to do that i'm sure security cameras. camera footage of it it's probably oh. never on but it's like a, it was a random liquor store. I thought it was, if it was a 7 Eleven, I'm sure they would have had it, but it was a but random liquor, liquor store. I just want to know what that liquor store owner was like. Like, if he was like at the door watching the whole oh, thing. He, or if he. Do you remember where that was? Yeah, I could find it. You should get that footage. We should oh, get yeah, that footage. Go back during the day. <laughs> during the. Yeah, fucking 3 p.m. <laughs> no, no more. No 8 a.m. <laughs> we probably could try to reach out. Do you think so? <laughs> No, yeah. I could no. I want to see the situation again. <laughs> it's like, like, it, I'm like, there was a gang out. that tried to like rob us um, on Saturday. It's girls on bicycles. And, and he's like, <laughs> <laughs> we were so drunk, we didn't realize who it was. Y'all exaggerate yeah, yeah, yeah. the story. They're just like, please. <laughs> know, like, it was. It was. They're selling Girl Scout Girl cookies. Scouts, yeah, <laughs> they were banging on the window, <laughs> trying to get this cookies. Yeah. 
<laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> get the fuck away from Get the fuck away from the t- you're like, you're like, yeah, and they were like at the window saying like, you want some more? <laughs> and it's like, no, they, you want Samoas? <laughs> <laughs> totally miss her and everything. He, th- he uh, they were telling me though, because uh, when I said, do you want a shot? He, they were saying possibility that they probably heard you want to get shot. But, uh, but the thing is that yes. I was like, I was pretty clear and like the way I was saying it, why the fuck would I? I want to be holding groceries and be we like, were probably you, want to slurring. Get shot? you want to get shot? You want to get <laughs> shot? But he did say, give me all your beer. So I think that was already a... Uh, give me your lunch money. Yeah. Whatever I said after, I don't think it mattered at that we point. We fended off a gang. But, but he, that like, after that, after a situation like that, I, now I feel like I have to carry something in my car at all times. Like, I feel like I have to have something to protect me. I'm, I'm happy when, I had something. Yeah. Just the, like, just something. Just in case. Yeah. Keep keep it hidden. It wouldn't have done much if they had, you know, better weapons. But, you know, it did. I feel like it showed your dominant. It showed that, hey, look what I got. I got one too. I'm just curious what would have happened if you did give them the beers. Would they keep going? I think it would have. Or they, like, yeah, because. Yeah. Were you wearing your Rolex? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. They were in Catalina like yeah. shirts too. I was wearing like a martini shirt. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I was wearing like uh those like little slippy sandals. Yeah, we yeah. look like we're on vacation. So right. like we were you pretty good belong. targets, I guess. But we are, I'm a survivor. <laughs> I'm a survivor. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. But then the next day was full of lots of fun, little yeah. pool party oh, action that was fun. here. I like teared up on Sunday. You did? Looking at the yard. It was just so overwhelming, like it was cool seeing so many diverse group of friends talking. Like there was a point where Matt was talking to my dance friends and I was like, what the hell do they have in common? But they were having a blast. Well, long. yeah, well, Matt was doing cartwheels. He was doing right, dance right, right. <laughs> yeah, He was they... earning his stripes. <laughs> yeah, we... no, it was a good day. But it was day. just overwhelming. There were so many people and everybody stayed. We, we told, I was like, okay, listen, this party's only going on from 12 to five. It's a pool party. Nobody left till like midnight. Then there was like four of us that were there till 3 a.m. And then I had to take my brother to the airport at four. It was a blast. Oh, is this your first party, Mariah? That's first always big party. I, I think it was overwhelming because it was for me. Yeah. <laughs> so it was fun. We oh, wanted to get people. crazy. It just felt you. good. Like there, it, I felt like genuine care. Yeah. I like I it. didn't feel like people were there to like get drunk and like get crazy. Like I feel like people were just there to have a good time. I got chocolate drunk. I sure he did. He got chocolate wasted. In that kitchen. Zane didn't drink because he was so stressed about my birthday cake because oh, yeah. he made it. He Dude, was, that's why, that's why I wasn't like focused on anything but that. I was no, like in I there, know. I was just like, this cake needs to come out. You <laughs> were sweating. It was yeah. so good. It took, uh, why did it take, it, took me three, it took me three hours to make that fucking cake. And it I wasn't burnt like, at one point. Oh, yeah. and he was freaking out. Oh, he was sure. having and then he was, he was sawing so off the fucking top and edges. It was so funny because he I, I I saw him calling his mom and he was like, it's not the same color. Like, <laughs> When, when you make it, Mom, it's, it's usually a little bit thick. lighter. Why is it thick? And he's like, I put honey? in all the ingredients. Like, it's just not right. Look at this. Does this look right? And he's like <laughs> slapping it. And, and then all of a sudden he's like, okay, whatever, whatever. Let's just do it. And then he puts the sour cream in it. And then he's like, oh, well, this is supposed to, like, this is what it's supposed <laughs> oh, to be. Oh, it, it, it kind of makes sour he cream ingredient. in it. Oh, that's, that's oh, yeah. Hey, 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 sh- oh, yeah. Oh, hey. Like hot, or- Bleak that out, Josh. <laughs> People are like, what did they put in it? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cream so cheese? No, 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 no. You ever had a sour cream donut? It's the no. best. Sour cream is really good when you put in desserts. You have to like mix it in. It's nice. It was very mm. good. Yeah. It was a really great party. And then we watched the fight, too. Oh, a Jake Paul fight. Yeah. And he won. You got to give it to give it up to those brothers. It's fucking insane how like I think it's cool like, seeing Jake Paul and that like it like on Showtime with that arena and with everybody there. Crazy. I was just like, that's fucking insane how he's there right now. Whether people like it or not, they're changing the game. Exactly. I was so disappointed that other fighter though. Like he was a real fucking fighter. He didn't put. I felt like he didn't put anything. In I that kept fight. thinking he was like just like, keeping his endurance. Yeah, up and he was gonna like just but go he in. Stayed that way, right? I the heard, whole the whole time throughout the end. I heard something today that I didn't know, and I felt like it should have been talked about. Um, but apparently, Jake uh, thought that the, you know the the girls that were fighting before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, there was like a girl. Uh, girl fight right before. Yeah, I've never. And, it's never been like that where you like as a boy and. Well, well, like UFC, they do like different, like, Co-ed, like yeah. or oh, yeah, for an okay. event. But he was saying that they were underpaid and should have gotten more for like the winner. So he gave money out of his own purse to the to winner, so she could like oh, have wow. a bigger winning. Oh, there oh, you go. Oh, and I didn't, awesome. I didn't know that. I heard that today, and I was like, oh wow. 
That's yes. like the Sick. fun part about money. Like, why yeah. is it just like, why doesn't stuff like that, that? Like, yeah. type of like good news spread. It's yeah. always just like yeah. they're trying to I change their like reputation. Like, talk about that. Like, that's cool. That's freaking cool of them. Yeah, because other fire. I feel like other fires wouldn't do that. They no. wouldn't give no. money from their own Hell purse. No, for that. no yeah. way. But yeah, me, me and Matt were so confused by that win. We we're just like, or not. We weren't confused by Jake's win, but we were confused why the like the other fighter was like Woodley. to the end. Woodley to the end. He wasn't throwing any like. He wasn't really putting in his all, and then and then he was surprised that Jake won. I was yeah. like, "What did you fucking expect?" Yeah, Jake was pulling punches the entire time, and and, uh, and I didn't I didn't realize that uh, they don't um they don't know their scores until the end. I thought yeah. I thought they could see who's winning, right? Because we no. can see it. Yeah, because yeah. if they because if he saw that Jake was winning, he would have probably put his all in in that last round. But so doesn't I didn't their know coach that. at least tell them when they go into the corner, like, yo, man, you got to start throwing more punches, man. Because well, he did. He did. He told them, like, you got to give this your all. We, we, This was oh. when they were having their little corner session. I don't know what the fuck that's called. Man, little... You should be giving it your all regardless. That's true. Yeah. But yeah, that didn't make sense. And apparently he's getting an I love you, Jake Paul tattoo. So who's, I'm who's the really real winner? I'm curious to see if he does that. Unless there's a rematch. No. Didn't, didn't they the say rematch that? is... If he, he gets the tattoo, yeah. he, will re, he will rematch. Woodley rematch. wanted a rematch, and they said, "If you get the tattoo, I'll give you a rematch." There's gonna be no rematch. I don't think anybody wants to watch the same people fight, right? That's no, not. And thing. I don't even think they want to fight the same person. They want. Yeah. Yeah. That wouldn't make sense. I did hear something that Logan got a new fight. He got they another fight. They haven't said like who it's gonna be yet, but apparently he got somebody that he's. I think against. Logan's pretty good for not doing it his entire life. Yeah, both yeah. of them. Both yeah. of them. Who, like who's technique better? wise, Logan's definitely better. I think Logan. I think it's so better. funny. Like my. Oh, they should battle. They would fight each other. They, my, oh. my friends from high school, like <laughs> they should battle <laughs> with a sword. Put him in the ring. Uh, my friends from high school, like I hate like the Paul brothers, and I've always just been like, think again. These guys will win these fights, and like, yeah, right, yeah, right. And every time they win, I'm like, see what I've said. People it's pretty don't. crazy. I know. Is I it, didn't think Jake was going to win. I thought he was going to lose. I thought it was going to be this whole thing, but no, he... Did you put money on it, Heath? No, I was going to. Jeff did. I was going to, but I didn't. I always get confused on how to like bet on that shit. It's just kind of like, ugh. If I'm like there in person and I'm at like Vegas or whatever, it's so much easier just to go up and like make a bet. Yeah. But didn't like the bets don't make sense because didn't Jeff put eight K in and he won three K? Yeah. That's it's odd. that make that that's such a huge risk. Like that's not worth well, it. Well, like if somebody's favored, like if you have like somebody who is like expected to win. Wasn't Woodley favored though? No. Woodley wasn't favored? No. Isn't he the real fighter though? And Jake Paul is like the yeah, but he was like forty something years old. Yeah, the age difference is insane. Oh, so right when I, I saw the age really? difference, I was like, oh, okay, so this is a twenty yeah, year old so kid if, going like, up against if somebody's a veteran. Like, yeah, if somebody's like more guaranteed to win, if you put up a hundred bucks, you may only win like ten. But if you put up ten bucks on the other one, you'll win a hundred. Like whatever. But the, I would have thought like the guaranteed are. winner would have been Woodley. Like I'm, I thought like he would, he would have think. been the favored one. Before we continue, we want to give a big thank you to our sponsor for this podcast, Seat Geek. Live events are back, baby, which means you get twenty dollars off tickets at Seat Geek with promo code Unfiltered. Seat Geek is a ticketing app that makes buying tickets so simple. This is the app right here, and as you can see, you can just scroll. You can do sports concerts. Broadway shows, anything you can imagine and buy directly on your phone. You know, we all love to go to festivals. It's literally our go-to every year. We always try to find the best festivals to go to. So we go to SeatGeek for that. And we try to find it at the best price. So we go to SeatGeek for that. SeatGeek rates every ticket from zero to 10 to make sure you're getting a good price. The green dots are gonna be good deals and the red dots are a little bit overpriced. And every ticket on SeatGeek is backed by their buyer guarantee so you can shop for tickets with confidence. And don't worry, everybody listening right now, we've got the hookup for you. All you gotta do is use promo code UNFILTERED and you're gonna get $20 off. At SeatGeek, that's $20 off your first purchase with promo code UNFILTERED. Visit SeatGeek.com or download the Seeky app today. Again, make sure to use promo code UNFILTERED to get that $20 off your tickets, baby. www.seekgeek.com. We love you, Seeky. Thank you so much for saving us monies. Get your tickets. If we were around back in like medieval times, would you have gone to like a Coliseum? Like, I, it's kind oh, of yeah. fucked up on me. Like, I would, like, imagine seeing two like grown men sword fighting to the death. <gasps> In an arena. It was a different time. It was a different time. <laughs> like, imagine that. That was a different like, that time. Was, that, was, that was their boxing. That was their pay-per-view. Like, and like, I'm sure they were betting on and that I'm sure, shit. And I'm sure it was more exciting at that time, too. 
Because like you, there was results. Imagine there seeing a- like somebody die and you're like, it's rigged. <laughs> it's rigged. <laughs> He's dead on the floor, but he had better technique. And they lift yeah. their yeah, right. The winner is. Or they they fake the deaths like, oh. <laughs> They're like the the rubber or like the poke blades that like. Yeah, right. They banish him from the fucking the <laughs> land. He can't like come back. I don't know. Imagine I, yeah. seeing that. But I feel I like everybody it. was so close to death all the yeah. time back then where like people were dying like on the streets like and left stuff. And they right. would like bring out your dead and just like I don't know. I feel like life or death back then was as common as it is dying in a video yeah, game where it's life just like expectancy was twenty five. Yeah. Yeah. Oof, I don't know. I uh, yeah. Definitely, I'd I wonder if we would have done what. Would, do you think we could have a podcast back then in medieval? <laughs> I just can't imagine like ex- we'd, we'd executions back then, like going to just like a decapitation on the guillotine. Like, no. yeah. Like, could you imagine seeing that? And people just gathered, like children, just like, just woo! like people getting stoned in the street. What's weird is that like execution still happens, but like just not just here. less people get to see it. Isn't that weird? It's really weird. Like back then, it was like the town gathers around. We're gonna execute this terrible like criminal. The prisoner, yeah. And then, and then everyone would watch it. But now they still do it, but only a few people can watch it. What? Like, it's just weird. It's like, like are, obviously, you, are you RSVPing? Like, are you guys <laughs> so are we, are we gonna do catch after the execution? That is fucking wild. Yeah. Like obviously, like the town did it to scare people to tell them like, hey, don't fucking commit crime because you're gonna get your head decapitated. But like. The people watching it, like, do you think they enjoyed it? Do you think like, damn, that's it, that's the that's, moment, that's, that's done, they're done. <laughs> like, do they just like all turn around and walk away, or they kind of like sit there for a while and talk about it? Oh, I don't even know. Oh, uh, back then, like, I'd bring my kids. I'd be like, hey, you back? Just imagine. <laughs> <laughs> they they, 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 they on the shoulder. Just go. You see? Hey, you see that? You see? You know what he did? He back talked, you know? He lied to his mom. <laughs> and then, like, I don't know, with, like, after someone was executed, was someone next in line? Like, was there, like, sets he had to hit? <laughs> like, oh, oh, like, which one are you going to watch? Like, yeah, like, just, like, Decapicella. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like you, you got a whole lineup of people of who's, it like, going up to, like, lose Very their head. Very good, Matt. Deca- How'd you be able to make that, like, so, Decapicella. Wow. so quickly? <laughs> Just like, oh no, I'll get there at four. That's what, like someone else's, or yeah. just like the opening acts, like, like the like the biggest for like the the mo- the biggest criminal. Just no, there's the- a child murderer getting decapitated. Oh yeah, that's at six. I gotta make it there for that. Yeah, last hit. God, I don't know if I could handle that. Just like, would you like the final moment before you get decapitated? Would you be just like, would you be singing they, something, they would be like, just saying everything you want? Uh, like, I got- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, hey, can you can you record this? <laughs> <laughs> or just <laughs> <laughs> what a crazy Go. crazy time! Like I always think about like what people lived through like hundreds of years before us. I know. Yeah. I wonder if they were like it's awful. We should be thankful, grateful. And there Man. are still like you know full on um, tribes that live out in the middle of nowhere that have had no contact with human beings yeah. at all like that island where like if where, somebody where reporters keep trying to go to and like what's journalists what's the name of it what's the name of the it the island where if you, if you like if you show up they kill you they it's don't still going uh, on. we can't have contact with them because even if we did they're not they don't have immunities to the diseases that we carry. Oh, Since, okay, so, yeah, I mean that that's what happened to native americans so like when we came from, over like, we brought so much world. disease so that, oh yeah, the Sentinel Islands, the North Sentinel or South Sentinel Islands. Pretty it's, crazy. It's really. They will bow and arrow you down before you even get close. There was a young kid, like in the past ten years, who yeah, I, there I who that. was trying to be, you know, like a missionary of the Christian faith. Thought he could spread the good news. Dead. Nope. What we should do is just go over and just drop a bunch of iPads over there. <laughs> <Just, laughs> like, dr- like drop I'm, off a I bunch of food, like slowly, like every here and there, just to show them, hey, there's some people dropping off, and then one day you come with the items. I and think they that, just love the way their way they're living. Yeah, they're or just like, hey guys, look, huh? Look at us, just trying to. <laughs> Like what's that movie, The Green Inferno? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's that pretty is much one that. of my biggest. Fears. I'm sure that was like inspired by that island. Have right? they tried flying a drone over it? Uh, I think I think yes. so. Oh yes, there's, I think really? there's a lot I think of there's drones. There's actual footage. There's footage of it, like an aerial, and they're all like aimed up at it. What if they get one that goes that can go really high but can zoom in really far that they can't see it? Like it looks like. A or bird. or they or they um 
They, or or we just leave them the fuck alone. I know. No, I they weird. don't want nothing to do with them. No, I, I just want to like I want to see how they live. I'm just so curious to see like their houses. But that's, and that their... borders. That, so that just goes to show how nosy yeah. we are. We're like, let us see. Like, yeah, but they're like, get on we there. We don't fuck. care. Let's, we are so like, rude. Like yeah. we are let's just drop so off care packages. <laughs> they don't need it. They don't want it. Yeah, they don't want it. No, we're just curious. We're, we're see nosy. You know the the movie The Village. The worst movie ever made. It's, hey, it's, it wasn't that not bad. that bad of a movie. I watched it as a kid. It was terrible. Well, I, I mean, feel like I've, I've M. Night seen. Shyamalan, The Village. With Is it like a like a smoky picture with like a yellow something? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. I feel like it was a bad movie to a lot of people because they had it in one of the scary movies. You know, scary movie one, two, three, and four. Like yes. uh, franchise. Yes. They put it in one of those movies, and I feel like whenever oh, there's yeah. a movie in that movie, people that means it was like a, a bad movie that That's they're making true. fun of. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Is it? Oh, it was a red cape. That's what it was. Yeah. Oh, was it, was no, it? they wore yellow. They were the like red warthogs. people were the bad ones, okay. and you don't know what time period it right, is. Right, right. So you think going in, it's the 1800s, and I'm gently spoiling the movie. But I always wonder if there's people out there who are living in that situation and do not know yeah. about the world that are speaking English with their own community and just don't. I know. feel like it'd be so cool to be like that. Grow up in a commune, or just like like not know all of this shit that we have i feel like i feel like you'd be so much happier in a way it all depends heath and i went to the denny house the other day that was fucking exciting i went I, it what just brought a lot of memories <laughs> i saw that and you guys recreated some old bits that you filmed like at, yeah for david's video yeah and what was funny is i saw <clears throat> a clip of it on tiktok of you guys like you know, bantering and stuff. And then I thought, oh, this is an old clip from David's vlog. It, but then Zayn is holding a vape and I'm like, <laughs> we weren't vaping back then. We were just it, cigarettes, Zane baby. also looks just dramatically skinnier than what he did at the Denny house. And in my head, I was just like, it was this a weird, is not like, mind trip. Yeah, yeah. I was telling David, let's fucking recreate in the same spot. And he was like, no, no. I was like, that would have looked so funny. Imagine Carly sitting next to me in that mm -hmm. room. By the fireplace. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was like, David, you really got to like, you gotta hit he didn't hit think it. anybody would know what it was from. He was just looking at it as like, this is a skit that we're doing. He didn't look to recreate exactly what it was. And they were like, you have to. He didn't you think people to. would like remember. And yeah. Like, I see that clip all the time. I see it yeah. all the fucking time. I see that clip. It's it, iconic. It is. You know what I felt bad about? Heath for the longest time was in contact with the Denny House people and he wanted to do a video surprise, I, like pulling up to the house and surprising oh, you guys. He, I did too. I was going to do the same thing. <laughs> really? Yeah. And then of course David pulls the plug and he's like, "All right, we're going we're, we're going to go to the Denny house and you're like, Ugh. "Oh no, yeah, I was I was, like, I, was I was telling the guy I wanted to film a video in that house for like a long time." I, so he was talking to all of us and didn't mention that, "Hey, uh you right. guys are all I had it set up a day but nobody like could make it and I was like, "Shit." And I kept postponing with the guy. I was like, "All right, just give me another week. I'm trying to get everybody." The guy right living together. there now? Yeah. Who lives there now? What kind just, of guy? Uh, I he forget his name. There's, there's a couple people. Restaurant. There's a couple people in the guest house. Yeah, and then the main house is the guy who owns the. the yeah, pizza it's group. like a it's a family though, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, interesting. <clears throat> Was there still like little bits of styrofoam? Yes, like the they find them all the time. Oh wow! Still they said there. they found Zane's shoe. My shoe was in that. Oh, okay, no, a fire started behind the washing machine, and they, they you know, they stopped and everything. They or the fire department had to come. They pulled it out, and there was a a whole thing of condoms, my right black shoe, and like a beanie that was just stuffed in like the the like where like all the air goes. Oh my god! From the, yeah, it was. It was crazy seeing that my shoe was still there. I'm like, I'm surprised that nobody cleaned that up before. Like, like you know how like the, the what, of, what were you doing on the dryer? I don't know. I think we used to we condoms used to, a climbing beanie, up to get the condoms. Shoes? He falls down. He loses a shoe. No, but it was like it was a full thing in condoms. It must have just been for a bit or well, something because it was way shoe, too much. Let me guess what the shoe was like a black Vans. Yeah, like, <laughs> it was a black like all, Vans. That's all I wore. Yeah, yeah it was for a bit. <laughs> Right, right. Oh, the, oh no! I was I wasn't fucking in that house. I was Todd, so it was probably his. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fair enough. Yo, but it was yeah. crazy, like seeing like what they did to the place. It looked so much better than when we. Oh there. yeah, like it, it actually, was embarrassing how bad we kept that place. It was pretty bad. We kept that. It was a shit. Oh, it, and at the black. end, we were like, we are good tenants. We keep this. Up. Like looking back, no. Oh, those black leather couches that were just in the heat of summer. Oh, you just hear yeah. the, like, <laughs> legs just pull off that shit. Oh. oh, and you know, you know what's crazy? We could, we could afford like a maid to come, or just we could afford just to clean the house and get some furniture, but we just never did that. 
I literally <laughs> couldn't pay my rent. In in that house? Yeah. Oh, really? My mom was paying my rent. No, I, you had a, you had a, your YouTube up. You YouTube. You had your YouTube up in the Denny house. No, you had your I don't YouTube think you did. Up. I started right at the end. I posted like my. It was second at the end. I, yeah, well, I was doing you, I was doing TFIL for like months before. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you all went to Clean Street, and then you were like, wow. "I'm gonna start it." Yeah. Mm-hmm. Man. Shouts out to my mom. Thank you for helping <laughs> is me your, out. Is your old bedroom still red? Huh? We didn't look in the room. Oh, your old oh, bedroom. Oh, it was just like, we I were think just it was, in like the living room. Yeah, I think it was like the girls' room too, so we, were, we weren't going to like ask to like see it. I was just going to say, if you're listening, you have no idea what we're talking about. The Denny house is a house that Heath and Zane... You didn't live there, did you? Oh, fuck. Mm-hmm. We should have no, introduced. I stayed there a yeah. lot. Heath and Zane lived there when they first moved to LA, and it's a super iconic location that they filmed all the time in. And is that it? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, this is There's basic- a lot of stories on the podcast that are based around the Denny house yeah. that are the most insane stories you're ever going to hear. So go back and Yeah, they're this all is, at the This Denny is where house. like all the vlogs and like everything like started. This is when Heath and I were at our worst with alcohol. But also at drugs, your peak. <laughs> yeah. The, the Eating highest like love. shit. We were It's crazy. We look like we were 40 years old when I look at footage <laughs> of us in that house. Todd sent me a picture insane. like 2 days ago and I was like, "Oh my god." It's pretty cool you're aging backwards. Yeah. yeah. But I feel like most people do. Like most people, when you see like younger pictures, they look older for some reason. And then the amount of cigarettes. Remember, we would run out of places just to put them out. Yeah, there wasn't even. An, we were using the garden pots, the big like oh, pots. But he, remember how high our shit would go? It looked like the game. Oh my of, God. The Game of Thrones chair. Like it was just fucking <laughs> no, going no, up and no. up and up. Do you remember? Okay, so they they were like big, like <laughs> big pots, like. Really nice, like gloss edges and like ceramic, and they were they were probably like two and a half, three feet tall yeah. by two feet across, and we were just putting cigarettes down in it, and we were just like there was like oh. soil, and we would just put cigarettes out, and then we put cigarette cigarettes out on top, <laughs> and it was just mounds and mounds of cigarettes, and then one day we were like walking by, and I was like, ooh, it's kind of warm, hot, like and I was like. <laughs> Started smelling. I was like, "Damn, this shit's like hot." Stinking. Like, like it was like you couldn't even radiating. Touch it. And I was like, "Oh my god!" And then I put my hand on it. I was like, "Mother, Jesus!" So we like I started like moving cigarette butts. The entire pot was like like a on charcoal, fire. Like, a, on like fire. ember, yeah. like like a charcoal pit. <laughs> oh, and the oh, whole thing had no. been smoking. You for, cut a fried an egg. Honestly, I oh, think it was a, pizza. like an ongoing fire for like weeks that had just been like lighting slowly, and slowly just, just oh heating up. God, and it. I don't even know how long it took. We had to get like a hose and like just douse the entire thing. Was that pot still there? Did you see it? I don't know if I did. I think I, it like I, cracked. And too, you like, you would like you wouldn't think to put it out because you're putting it in a pot. It's gonna like burn out on its yeah, own. Yeah, you like you but, do the. Twist, twist, twist. But, yeah. but like for two weeks, it's pretty crazy that like it just kept, because we're like the fire it couldn't go anywhere else. It was just in that pot. It was probably because like the the sun too. Yeah, just baking on it, just wow. reheating yeah. them. Remember the I don't know how cigarettes work. <laughs> <laughs> just recharging them. <laughs> the 1975's like second album came out while y'all were living there. Yeah, and it just—it's just crazy those times. You can never get them back. Yeah, that but was like, ba- back when he didn't even know 1975. But you showed me Sun Real. Yeah, hanging by the pool when yep. we were there. Like there was Pretty just crazy. so many defining And now Sun Real was hanging out at our pool. I yeah. know. Golf with them this morning. How the turns have tabled. Wow. How the turns yep. tabled. Would we buy it if we could? Absolutely not. That place is oh, a dump. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's not a dump anymore. <laughs> I'm remembering like when we lived there. Yeah, it's a it, living room and a kitchen and like a few bedrooms. Yeah. Like, it, it was really sad seeing how nice that house looked when, like when you give it to a family that can actually take yeah they made it look so nice i really want to get into like old school briefcases where are you going with a damn briefcase yeah, what, what do you mean i just like instead of like like a shoulder like tote bag like like going to the airport or something i'll always carry like a duffel yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Just walking around with like an actual briefcase. I, I think, think it looks, looks so cool. cool. I think they're a pain But now it looks oh, now they're... it looks weird when you're walking around with a briefcase. Yeah, you, you, you like look a time like an active yeah. shooter. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got something, either a whole stack of cash because you shouldn't be walking around with yeah, cash like that. If someone but not just like opens a... up a briefcase, you're instantly oh, like, yeah. yeah. It's a bomb. <laughs> oh, yeah, because we've seen we've seen so many briefcases in movies just be bombs, like taking time. No, on. I just think it's like cool. Like, yeah, it's really inconvenient and you got one little handle and it's probably heavy as shit. You but can't like, wheel it. It's blocky. It's not comfortable if you want to like lay on but it. But that's, that's what's cool about it. Like, you're, you're willing to go above and beyond and put yourself through that. It is crazy people like, went to work with a briefcase. It's incredible. Incredible. It's everything you need. It's all the paperwork, the pens. People still, people still do. People do, no, but not like on. a not like no. the cool. Yeah, sleep. Manhattan. Yeah, How, really. So, wait, so if, you're, if, if you're working on Wall Street and you're going into work, you're wearing a backpack. Yeah, because you have to have papers with you. Yeah, and you it's have to have your laptop. Thing. My brother, my but brother you can't needs put it in a folder work. and then put it in your backpack. My brother has one for backpacks. work. You know, no, no, no. I mean, like the like the like the um leather skinny suitcase. Or yeah. suitcases. Did your dad but, take a briefcase to work? Mm, my mm. parents are poor, man. Okay. My dad was a garbage man. <laughs> <laughs> my dad had like a binder because he'd have to hold it up sanitation as a sign worker. too. Oh, uh, okay. So, <laughs> yeah. so yeah, we, we were dad, we're, we're not Wall Street families. Worker. I just I don't know. I just kind of like it. I Bring it back. That. I will. There's a briefcase I would want to buy, or I want all matching luggage that's like in yes. the Darjeeling Limited, I that want... Wes Anderson movie, yeah. with like your initials printed on yes. it and all the animals yes. and stuff. Like just that go to hell, really super preppy, like suitcase. Yeah. I love how really cool. old suitcases people would put stickers where they traveled to, yes. like a passport almost, but it's on their suitcase. Yeah, right. Hawaii. Japan. Yeah. Cute. Yeah. That's what, like, yeah, right there. That's what, like, like girls. That. That's oh, what, that's oh you you yes. have something like that. You're, yeah. you're old. You're poor. That's what like girls who go to like church camp in the summer, like with their water <laughs> bottles. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we went to Pine Cove this last year. It was a lot of fun. You should have been there. Gl 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 I still see that shit everywhere. I always see those stickers on this. Have you seen like old school? They're they're like trunks, but they're it's like a whole closet, and then it's also like a makeup vanity. And like oh, like in Dunstan checks in the movie where like he keeps is. Dunstan. Uh, oh, are you looking at one right now? Like it's like oh, and it's got like a v and then like the things pop out, they slide out, and there's like drawers and stuff. And it's oh. just like women would carry this around if they travel. Like that's yeah. crazy. Didn't you love in school when girls would have like those like pencil boxes, and then they had all those fucking drawers in it where those like pop out, like that eraser would be in there, the sharpener, oh, yeah, yeah, and the whole color pencil. I love playing with that shit. I'd literally grab those and just be like, yeah, like press because there was so much going on in one little box. You're able to fit like your whole backpack in a box. I think that's just like us getting excited about organization. Yeah. Organizations. People still it. use the vanity ones for dance competitions. Yeah. They're, you wheel out like your, it's a little box, but it's kind of like, like a, a tackle case. box. <laughs> yeah. It it's look, like yeah. a hard case, the, like tackle box and you wheel it out and then you open it up, but there's like lights too. The, the mirror comes up, there's lights. There's all these like, like pockets. Like a Louis mean, Vuitton vanity truck. Oh, wow. Like, oh, that shit's so sick. That's sick. Let me look see. at that. A Louis Vuitton, like it looks like a suitcase, but you open it up and fucking is gorgeous. <laughs> well, I want to get one. I'm not gonna use it, but I want to get one. Stop. I'm you guys are getting your fucking fix on. <laughs> I want yeah, designer they're now. They're new thing. The they, new yeah, thing get, for so the next. You bought weeks. an iPad, Zane, and you never <laughs> used it. You know why? Because I, I, I want an iPad. You know, people who had this shit together always got an iPad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean, I have That doesn't mean you get your shit together. I haven't turned the iPad on once. It's no, probably still got the it. the clear fucking plastic wrap. It's still, still on there. The fucking sell right. it on eBay. No, I do, but like, why do I feel like there's one day where I'm gonna need it? All right, let's <sighs> shut let's shut it down. Shut shut down the shop. Turn the lights off. Yeah, it's it's time to go to bed. We got to go back to our families. You know, we're about to, to walk over. over to Bob's. He's lying. I gotta go through a drive through. Bob's drive through. Why? Bob's. We could get Bob's the, has a drive through, and then yeah. they give you a tray that sits on the window. Oh, so you it's can drive cute. up thing. No, you, yeah, don't no, you drive, drive you through. You don't have to park. If and you then decide they give you the park, food and then you park and pull it's in. It's that fast? Yeah. yeah. Eat with us. No, I got it. Before gotta... COVID, they used to come out on roller skates like Sonic. Actually, and they, a... they, they, they might bring it to your car. I have a podcast at noon tomorrow. I, You'll be fine. I, I really got to sit with my own thoughts and think about some stuff. Okay. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> I just want to wake up like a little bit earlier than That's normal. fine. No, we get it. That's fine. What time do you usually wake up? Eight or nine. That's not bad. Yeah. Those are rookie numbers. We're gonna we're gonna drop that down. We're talking six. 
Lately, I'm trying to get up early. I feel like I'm in really good moods when I wake up early. I've been waking up. Very I have a confession. Early. I bought four Hemingway books after having Hunter on the podcast. You did bought, you? Yeah. Wait, would you buy? Did you get the full, sun? Full box set. The sun also rises. Yep. Read the sun also rises. It's my, the only Hemingway book I've read, and it's very good. Or a farewell to arms, but I've never read that. Mariah, we could do coloring books. That'd be fun for <laughs> us. Or, <laughs> Color by number. Color. <laughs> Yo, them shits were fun though. It was, and your shit looked fucking sick too. Looked like a uh -huh. masterpiece. Okay, okay, can guys. We, can we try something real quick? Can we all close our eyes oh, and, and see if we're on the same page? Oh like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Damn, we should have done that in the beginning. That'd have been a fun thing. Okay, to we're start gonna close with. our eyes and just instinctively try to clap at the same time. Okay, okay wait. wait. It's I, gonna be after I say three, two, I don't want one, Matt to and feel then my... we'll go from yeah, there. Yeah, just like wait. Yeah. Okay, everybody, close your eyes. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, almost. Uh, I feel like I feel like <laughs> it didn't feel right. I definitely yeah. felt. I felt the hands coming. I out. felt Matt's wi the wind go like this, and I was like, yeah, I, I started I went, feeling I went open, it. Yeah, so I went dramatic. Lighter, and then I went. <laughs> Let's try one more time. Okay, right. three, two, one. That <laughs> <laughs> was the first. We uh, are definitely not on the same page. All <laughs> right. Still waiting. Wait. All right. <laughs> Do you guys know what star counting is? So everybody look at this blue mug right here. Mm -hmm. And we all have to try to count to like as high as we can with nobody saying the same number at the same time. We played time. this at David's one night. We got to number 28. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, okay. okay. Got so it, got I'll it. start. All right. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15. Ah! It's because we're in love. We're yeah. not in the same wavelength. God damn. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Of this podcast. <laughs> All right, guys. We love you so much. Uh, audio every single Monday, video every Tuesday, youtube.com slash Dana Heath. We love you guys. Follow us on Instagram. Tell yeah. your friends to watch us. This is the greatest podcast in the world. Check out Hoot and a Half if you want to. Cut that shit out as all. Titties. <laughs> All right, we love you guys. Bye. See you next week. Bye.